Hello, King James Force of Scotland. Hello. How are the improvements of the Lithgow Palace going? Very good, sir. We shall be done shortly, sir. Ah, uh, uh, my leg. Is it broken? I'll fix it. Okay, but are you sure? Yes, I've done it before. There. Oh, thank you. You're not just a great king, but you're a great doctor too. Oh, thank you. I've been practicing. Uh, I don't suppose you have any teeth I could pull out. Well, how much will you pay me? We'll discuss it later. I'm late for my wedding. Bye. I'm here at the marriage of Margaret Tudor and James IV. We are gathered here today to witness the marriage of King James IV of Scotland and Margaret Tudor of England. Do you both promise to stay by each other's side and love each other for the rest of your lives? I, I do. do. As long as he doesn't pull my teeth out. I now pronounce you husband and wife. God save the king! God save the queen! Finally we've got a new queen in Scotland. Please don't do anything stupid. I wouldn't dream of it. Your Majesty, I have a new project. Look. Not another stupid project, Damien. What have you been working on this time, Damien, my chief inventor and experimenter? Flying, sir. I've created a new pair of wings. And what are these wings made of? Hen feathers, sir. Are you sure this is going to work, Damien? Of course. Well, on you go then. Well, here goes nothing. Ah! I was sure this was going to work. The feathers must have been attracted to the dung heap. I should have used eagle feathers. King James, the English have invaded France. We need to help. This means war. Men, we have a great advantage in the Battle of Flodden. Higher ground and more people. Now let's go and defeat the English and the Earl of Surrey. Yeah! Now, if we can go to that spot over there, we can kill the filthy Scots and their King James. We're gonna rip your faces off! Hooray! Oh no, what is the Earl of Surrey and the English doing? I must go and stop them. King James, wait! What about our orders? <laughs> Scotland is dead. Yay! Oh no, our great king is dead and so are many of the nobles. What shall Scotland do? Let's play football with the king's